Okay, in this video we're going to look at finding frequencies from histograms. So, to find the frequency from a histogram, frequency equals frequency density times class width. Okay, so to find how many people are in a particular bar in a histogram, you multiply the frequency density of that bar by the class width. Okay, so let's look at an example. So here we've got a histogram. You can see that it goes, the, uh, the intervals are 0 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 80, and 80 to 100. Um, I've actually drawn a table, I haven't, I've printed a table, and here you can see that's the table, or that's the intervals. And each of them, each of the bars has got a frequency density. So the first bar, the frequency density is 0 0.3, the next one is 0 0.6, the next one is 0 0.7, and the final one is 0 0.1. Yeah, is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, so to find the frequency density, or frequency, remember you do frequency density times class width. So for this first bar, the frequency density is 0 0.3. The class width is how wide the class is, so this is 40 wide, so you're going to do 0 0.3 times 40. 0 0.3 times 40 equals 12. So there's 12 people in this bar. The next one, 40 to 60, uh, so that's 20 is the class width, and the frequency density is 0 0.6, so you're going to do 0 0.6 times 20. 0 0.6 times 20 is 12. The next one, uh, the frequency density is 0 0.7 times the class width is 20, 0 0.7 times 20 is 14. And finally, the last cut of one has 0 0.1 is the frequency density, so 0 0.1, 0 0.1 times, and the class width is 20. 0 0.1 times 20 is 2. So that means that's got frequency density, or that's got, that frequency is 2. So there's 12 in that bar, 12 in that bar, 14 in that bar, and 2 in that bar. So that means that we can fill in our table, so the frequencies are 12, 12, 14, and 2. That's it.